What's up guys, Adam here with another video. And in this video, I'm gonna go back a few months. I'm gonna go back to a video I did a few months ago about how to clean a dryer vent. And in that video, not only did I show you how to clean a dryer vent, but I also talked about how important it is to make sure that the dryer itself is also cleaned out because a lot of people don't realize that there is not just lint buildup in your dryer vent that needs to be cleaned out, but it's also building up a lot of the time down in the bottom parts of the dryer, down below the lint screen, and then sometimes throughout the dryer on its way to the exhaust. So it's important to make sure that these are getting cleaned out because it's going to affect the performance of your dryer. Maybe you're noticing that your clothes are not getting as dry as they should be at the end of the cycle. And again, we also wanna make sure that we're avoiding any safety hazards. So that's what this video is gonna be about. I'm gonna show you how to deep clean your dryer and make sure that there's no lint throughout your system. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Let's go. So in order to do a true deep cleaning on this dryer, of course, you're gonna to wanna to always be cleaning out your lint trap on a regular basis, but the lint is going to get past the lint trap and carry down underneath of the dryer in other places that you're not gonna be able to get to. Now, right below the lint trap is where most of the lint that gets by is going to sit. And if you're able to use a vacuum, if you have a nozzle that'll fit down into that hole there and get all the lint up, then that's great. But in most cases, and in this case, you're not gonna be able to get down to it. So we're actually going to have to take the dryer apart in order to get down to those parts that we can't reach. And if you see here, when I put this lint trap back in, it doesn't even seat all the way. So that's telling me I definitely have a big problem down below this lint trap. There's probably a bunch of lint that is built up and it's not allowing for this to fully seat. So let's go ahead and get started with taking the dryer apart so we can get to everything. So the first step we're going to want to take is to unplug the dryer. That way while we're working inside of the dryer and taking it apart, there's no chance of getting shocked. Next, we need to get the lid off the top of the dryer. And you can do this by pulling up on it, and sometimes it will let loose, but a lot of times you may need to put your foot in the dryer itself and then lift on it so that the front of the dryer isn't being lifted up while you're trying to lift the top off. So now we've got the hood up. Now we need to take out these three screws here on top and then this one here in the front. Now we need to remove these two screws down here right below the lint trap. Now we can start to remove this face off of the dryer, but you're gonna have a clip here and a clip here that you need to depress in order to get this face off of the front of the dryer. Now that we have the face off of the dryer, you see this cord running. Some people will be able to disconnect it somewhere in here. Unfortunately for me, it is actually connected to where this door sensor is. So you have to actually unclip it from the door sensor up underneath of here. So then once you've got your wiring harness disconnected from the door sensor, then you just have to lift up and away with the face of the dryer. All right, so now that we've got the face off of the dryer, this is where we're really gonna get into where a lot of the lint is probably going to be stuck at. And we're gonna take off a screw here, a screw here, and one screw over here, and then pull this down. All right, so yeah, there's a lot of lint and junk in here. Let me get a flashlight. So if you, there you can see, look at all that lint that's just sitting down in the bottom of this tray. And that's why we weren't able to get the lint screen to sit flush because it's meeting that lint and it's not being able to go all the way down. So this is pretty typical that lint is going to get past your lint screen. And we know this because it also gets in your dryer vent, which definitely needs to be cleaned on a regular basis. All this is done to prevent any kind of fires that can happen and also make sure that your dryer is running at peak performance. 
So we're going to need to clean this out. And not only do we just need to clean that out, but there's lint and dirt all over in where this motor spins around on these fins. So we need to suck all that out as well. Now, if you've been missing something for a while and haven't been able to find it anywhere, this might be a good time to kind of sift through this lint. As dirty as that sounds and as nasty as it might be, it's not uncommon to find some things that you've been missing for quite a while, whether it's your wife's favorite earring, whatever it may be. This is definitely a catch-all for anything that may have been in your pockets at one time or another. You can also use a shop vac or any kind of vacuum cleaner with a hose that you can stick into this pan and just suck everything out that you can't get with your hands. You also should definitely remove the exhaust hose off the back of the dryer. And once that's removed, definitely clean out the port that it was attached to. And also consider removing the hose and cleaning it out as well. So next we can reattach this cover by first putting it up and over where the lint screen goes in. Once that slides up into place, it should hold there pretty well. And now we can just insert our screws again. So now that all of that is reattached, really all that's left is reattaching the very front. So you're going to take it, you're going to set it down on the feet down at the bottom. They're going to hook into place and then just push it back into place. But before we do that, we need to reattach our wiring harness to the door sensor. Once all of that is in place, we just need to push this top forward so that it goes over these clips and locks into place. Now that it's locked in place, we can reinsert all of our screws. And then just close the hood. Now you can reinsert the plug for the dryer. And then you can start drying your clothes again. All right guys, so after combining all of the lint from the shop vac and also out of the trash can where I was putting it when I was pulling it out by hand, this is what I came up with. And I, if I had to measure this, I would say it's somewhere around like three cups worth of lint, which to me is a ridiculous amount of lint and that most people don't even realize is happening inside of their dryer. You just assume that that lint screen is getting the vast majority of it, which it is, but over time, you can see how fast it builds up. So this could definitely affect how well your dryer works and of course is definitely a safety hazard. All right guys, so again, super important to make sure that dryer vent's getting cleaned out and if you need a link to the video that I made in order to clean your dryer vent, especially if it's on your roof line, then you can click the link up above now. And maybe just as importantly, uh, it's important to make sure that you're getting that dryer cleaned out. And a lot of people don't realize that there's a big buildup going on inside of the dryer itself. So now you know how you can go ahead and clean that out so that that dryer is running at peak performance, getting those clothes nice and dry and also avoiding any safety hazards. So I hope that you learned something new. And if you did, please let me know by leaving a comment down in the comment section and also giving the video a thumbs up. And if you like how to's and do it yourself type videos for around your house, then consider hitting that red subscribe button. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. See ya.